what it is. Yeah, I usually don't uh, drop like three or four videos in one day, man. But you know, I see I kind of I'm about to piss some people off, man. Talk about this Oscar Grant thing, man, for real. Come on. Got white guys telling me they ain't racist, man. Uh, still coming at us like this is what we do, man. Dude, study up on study up on me a little bit more, man. Google the black man stand up movement. See what I really stand for before you come at me sideways, because you're just gonna make an ass out of yourself, homie. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm I talk like this because I'm relaxed. Really, I'm educated, very very much educated, and I've lived a lot more life in my 32 years than probably any of you guys have. And think I'm crazy. I've been shot in the face. I got a right to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, but for real, man, my man uh, down in H-Town put me up on game, man. It's really, really lovely when things like this happen. A light side of black people, we come together, man, but let's put down the gang bullshit and stay together. And keep it together because all across the country we are talking about this. You know, I told I told one guy, you know, if I could, I would go out to the West Coast and, 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 and fight with these guys, man, and stand up for something right, man. Out here gang banging each other and stuff, man. Come on, brothers, man. Get it right, man. But I got a message to the to the people out there on the West Coast, man, because I know how y'all do it. Y'all ain't going to play, man. And here's the message. Matter of fact, this is a message to everybody. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I'm going to say it. You know, because I've call, I called for, you know, police to respond to this. And I'm waiting to, you know, actually hear from a good officer because they do exist on what are we going to do to stop this shit. Here's the here's the clue, man. You see, you see this stuff, right? Uh, old girl who got socked in the face in uh, Seattle. You saw them people in that video just standing around. That cop was supposed to be giving the business. They're people. They're people just like you and me. Some of these cops are criminals, y'all. You're badging a license to kill. You're abusing people. You're treating us like animals. We say we act like animals. Some of us do. And I don't smoke weed, this is tobacco, dumbass. But, man, uh, for real, some of us do. Some of us ain't got no brains, man. That don't mean count us out, man, for the rest of our lives. You know what I mean? Uh, they probably ain't going to convict that cop of doing that shit. And then uh, they're going to tear that motherfucker up again. I say to all of us, man, don't take no shit from the police. There's good cops, man. Don't come out at them strong like they bad cops. Give them a chance. They people, they got a very stressful job. You see what I'm saying? Now, I used to live in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Uh, when I met my wife, I moved out of Minneapolis to Minnetonka, out to her place. For obvious reasons, if you're from Minnesota, you know why. The cops would just start harassing me. I had this big old old school Lincoln, right? And put my 612 Minneapolis hats in the back. And, you know, I, I was leaning in the leather interior, man. You know, I went to work, though, man. I had a job. I paid for that with legal money. I worked for it, man. I had no shiny rims on it. Just an old school town car, man. 87 town car. Really nice car. They wanted to pull me over. At this time, I was smoking weed. Uh, I had to ride away. I had to turn arrow and stuff, and I happened to be you know, uh, smoking a blunt. I got beetles out here flying around my light. But, you know, I was, I was smoking a blunt in my car. And, you know, he, I admitted to him I gave him the weed, you know what I mean? Uh, but whenever he get through, he didn't have no right to pull me over. I took it all the way to court. Fought another ticket where I was racially profiled, where the cop just looked at my car, saw me and my wife. Black people out in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah, purify your body in the waters of Lake Minnetonka, huh? Yeah, but it got to the point where cops would follow me, and I'd actually pull over, and I'd get out of my car with my license and my insurance and my work uniform still, and I would ask them what they wanted and why they were following me for two miles and what they wanted. And they were speechless. They actually left me the fuck alone. I knew the law. In the state of Minnesota, police have 60 seconds exactly from the time that they stop you to tell you why they stopped you. Don't ask them why they stopped you. Just start counting. 60 seconds go by and they don't tell you why they stopped you. Ask for your license black back and um, let them know that they know because they passed the police academy that they had one minute to tell you why they stopped you or they have to let you go. Knowledge. You gotta, knowledge is power. Okay, and I'm going to break down a formula to you real quick, brothers, before we... Uh, actually as a nation start going into battle because they're going to start looking at us all crazy in all these major cities. I live outside of Dallas. They say don't mess with Texas. So hopefully Texas don't mess with us. There's a lot of brothers down here. You know, a lot of them don't have it all. They just want to kill. They ain't that a bitch. And all these black power people and all these so-called gangsters that's trying to rally everybody, do this, man. Do this and be about this, man. 
when they come back, not guilty. Don't tear up your own neighborhood, okay? Study the art of war. Tear that shit up for once. Don't tear up each other. That's what they expect you to do. That's what they all saying. Niggas ain't good for nothing but killing each other. That's all they're going to do is tear up their own shit. We live in nice neighborhoods where blacks ain't allowed. We ain't got to deal with your element. You guys are just nothing but shaved monkeys. Show them we got some brains. Brothers, sober up. We are going to need clear minds. Put down the blunts and the bottles. It's time. It's an emergency. We're targets. They don't care about us. Wise up. That shit's there by design. The music, the drugs, the media, everything is there by design to dumb us down so that we cannot defend ourselves in this situation. Go on my channel and look at some of my playlists. They're titled very specifically about what it is they're about. Learn about yourself. Look at the tapes for the riots that happened the night that Oscar Grant got shot. There were white people in there smashing them police cars. Don't just take it out on all white people. All white people ain't bad. Show these racist people that they are truly the minority, all nationalities, white, black, red, yellow, and brown, poor and vulnerable, the ones who are suffering at the hands of the real citizen of this nation. Show them that they are the minority, the racist people that think that we ain't nothing but animals, that will dog even you, the white man who stands up for us and call you a nigger lover, a coon lover. Your people will disown you for standing up for these people, but do what is right in your heart. And do not lay down and die for nobody. Clear your minds, my people, so that you can see who your enemy is. Because it is not me. It is not your brother. Just because you a blood, it don't mean it's a cripple. Just because you a vice lord, it don't mean it's a GD. Just because you a foe, don't mean it's a mo. We got to come together and stop this shit. We got to stop. They're killing us while we're killing each other. And killing our babies. Keep that in mind. Cause this is my prophecy. Shit's about to hit the fan. I mean, B, I'm out. Peace. In no way am I endorsing any violence whatsoever.